In this video, I'm going to show you how I make nice cream. That's nice with an N. Um, and I make it a little more healthy by adding a couple um, supplementary ingredients. So first I have some flax seeds, and you can see here that four tablespoons of flax seeds has, look at all that, fiber, seven grams of fiber, and six grams of protein. I also like to add chia seeds. And you can see the serving size is two tablespoons, and that has 10 grams of fiber. Imagine that, just two tablespoons, and you get 10 grams of fiber, that's amazing. And then six grams of protein. Both protein and fiber, when you add them to your foods, will help lower the glycemic index of anything that you're eating. So it's a nice thing to have on hand. Okay, so now next I'm going to add some almond milk. You can use regular milk. You can use any kind of milk you want, um, but the blender has an alternative milk setting. So the way you do that is you soak some nuts in some water for about four hours, and then you throw it in here with about five cups of water, and that's, I didn't clean it out yet. That's why it looks like that. <laughs> that's from when I made the almond milk. Um, five cups of water, run the alternative milk setting. Then you strain the nut pulp um, with this milk bag, which is included um, with your blender. And you just strain it through there. You can give it a good squeeze like you're, you know, milking a cow. And you'll get your milk over here. You can see how creamy it is. It's kind of stuck to the sides of my pitcher. And then you're left with this nut pulp, which um, some people dry out. And I guess they make um, almond flour with it. Um, and then, you know, use it like almond flour. And anyway, so we are going to pour in um, half a cup of our almond milk. There's my chia seeds and my flax seeds. Oh, they're just kind of all mixed together in there. You can kind of see the black chia seeds in there. We're going to add that. And now, now I'm going to add two cups of fresh fruit. And I just have this cherry berry blend. You can use whatever frozen fruit you want. Did I say fresh fruit? I meant frozen fruit. Frozen fruit. And we just had a power outage the other day, so my frozen fruit kind of got frozen, all clumped together. So we're going to see how this goes. Oop, looks like there's a little dog hair or something on my fruit. Yuck, let me take that off. I don't know how that happened since I pulled it straight out of the bag, but life with dogs, huh? All right, so now, let me see. Got to get some more frozen fruit out of here, one-handed, because I'm holding a camera with my other one. All right, that's boring. Let me pause this. Oops, I guess I'm still videoing. <laughs> oh well, I meant to pause that. Anyway, um, so what you're going to want is your tamper. You want to keep this handy because you do have a bunch of frozen fruit in there, and especially mine because it's all been frozen together. I like to use the grind setting for the nice cream. We just spin the dial and then hit start. And I'm going to open up my lid. Not my lid, but my... the fruit down to the blade. It's got that little stopper on the top so that you don't push it too far. And it sounds, sounds like it's done. Feels like it's done. Let me just give it a little stir with my tamper. You can see the beautiful consistency of that. Still sounds like I'm getting a couple chunks. Let's just check on it. Cancel. Let's check it and see how it looks. All right. Ooh. 
Actually, it looks really good. I'm going to dig this down in here and see if it looks like there's any chunks. It looks like it's pretty thoroughly mixed up. Mm, my kids love this. And it's so healthy that I feel fine giving them nice cream for breakfast. So you can have this on a hot summer morning for breakfast. It's delicious. And your kids will think you're pretty freaking awesome. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. So yummy. And we've got the chia seeds and the flax seeds in there to make it extra healthy. Mm -hmm. Enjoy!